Hi guys! <laughs> so today's energy, daily energy clearing, um, we're going to start first doing the clearing first and then we can choose a card after because I've been guided to do some clearing for mainly intention is for twin flames. I'm just feeling a lot of heavy energies coming up. Um, the eclipse, eclipses are bringing a lot of things up, the full moon bringing a lot of things up to the surface, lots of heavy heavy duty energies and um, along with the heavy duty energies it brings up a lot of the dark energies like negative entities things like that attached to it so it can cause a lot of chaos and uh, so let's just clear <laughs> let's just start <clears throat> so let's call on God angels and guides and the highest highest beings of love and light to help assist with this healing First thing I've been guided to is just clearing some dark energies, entities, things like that, that are attached to you and your twin flame, any of your loved ones. Also, if you're open to this healing, just type in the comments below, you're open to receiving for you, your twin, your loved ones, the collective. It's a lot, because as twin flames, we are... We came here not to just come here and heal ourselves. We came here to help the whole planet rise. So we are, we took on a lot of like the old templates, the dark, dark stuff of the world to help transform it. It's a lot. So sometimes you can feel overwhelmed, right? We're dealing with our own stuff. And then on top of that, it's like the collective stuff is going on. So... <clears throat> Clearing all the dark stuff. <laughs> Starting to already feel a lot better. Okay. And then let's clear any... If there's like any types of attachments to you. So it could be like any other types of spirits or ghosts or things like that. Negative. Uh, I mean any types of ghosts probably wouldn't want them on you. <laughs> so let's clear. If it's in the highest good for it to be cleared off, let's clear it now and send them to wherever they need to go. Allow the angels to assist them to go wherever they need to go. Because like I was saying, when, when there's a lot of energies coming up to the surface, right, um, it's going to bring a lot of things up that was in the layers, right, that in the layers of the earth and the collective. So um, sometimes when they come up, they can latch onto people. So let's clear it. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, it's already feeling so much better. Let's see what else is going on. <clears throat> tuning in, just tuning into like the whole twin flame, twin flame collective. Oh, one main feeling coming up is feeling really hopeless and sad. So let's clear that. Let's send love to the parts of you that are feeling super down, hopeless, feeling like it's so hard and you just want to just want to give up. The parts of you that are so tired and exhausted. It's like, when is my twin coming back? When is this going to end? Like, how much more do I have to go? It's like things like that that I'm feeling. So let's clear all of that. That hopeless feeling, helpless feeling. Oh, feeling out of your power so let's clear this first and then we have to call back the parts of you um, that you're giving your power away giving your power away to your twin <laughs> you're giving your power away to like circumstances giving your power away to other people you can even give your power away to God believe it or not like if you think that um you think that God is punishing you or God is doing something to hurt you. And then you're out of your power, right? So let's call all your power back and clear all of this victim energy. Feeling like everything is against you. Or you did something wrong and you must deserve this to happen. And there's a lot of beating, beating yourself up or self-punishment. That I'm feeling, so let's clear that. And even if you might not be feeling these feelings on the conscious level, um, it can still be inside of you on the subconscious, like parts of you still operating with these beliefs. 
and it can still mess with your with your life so let's clear that so if you're not feeling it then that's a good thing <laughs> you just clear it but if you are feeling it then you're gonna feel a really big shift too <laughs> probably feel a lot better after this so that's good okay whoa it's lots of heavy stuff clearing off uh, i'm just gonna tune in and see what else is in there Sadness. It's not sadness. It's like anger. No, it's not really anger. It's like how do you explain it? When you are <laughs> it's like when you're so overwhelmed. You're so overwhelmed and you kind of, either you just give up or you shut down. It's mo it's like feeling like you shut down, shut down to life. Yes, okay. <laughs> Let's clear that. The parts of you that shut yourself down, shut yourself down to life. And also for your twin. So all of this we're doing for your twin flame too, if they're open to it. <clears throat> oh yes, this is painful. There's a lot of... Um, shut down hearts I'm feeling so let's send love to the parts of your heart uh, that you shut down because it was so painful the pain is too much you feel like it's so you can't handle it so you close down could be from childhood too like if you experience any types of trauma or you witness trauma as well uh, it's too painful for your heart to handle you could shut your heart down so let's heal those parts any love send some Nice, calming, soothing, Kuan Yin, goddess energies. If you're open to Kuan Yin or Mother Mary. <laughs> My video got, the video got cut off, so I'm back. <laughs> Still clearing the heart, parts of your heart that got shut down. Okay. That feels a lot better. And then, let's see what else we're going to clear. Things to clear between you and your twin flame, yes. Okay, so let's clear it. Uh, it's like any types of anger, resentment, misunderstanding. I think that's the main thing. Any types of misunderstandings between you and your twin. Anything that's not of love, let's release that. And let that go, be dissolved. And also I'm feeling a lot of polarization energies between you and your twin. So let's clear that. It's where, it's kind of like when you think that your twin is so different from you. It's like the extreme feelings, like... Like, <laughs> I'm just using this as an example. It's like, oh, my twin flame, is, he's such a loser. Like, what is he doing? Like, I'm over here trying to do all this healing work and trying to make my life better. And he's over there doing whatever he's doing. And it's like that. It's like when you feel like there's some sort of uh, extreme difference between the two of you. But that's the illusion. So let's clear that. The polarizing feelings, polarization, and the illusions that you're against one another when actually you're actually working together and a lot is going behind the scenes in the spiritual that we are not always aware of but everything that's happening on the twin flame journey is actually in your benefit even though it might not seem like that on the physical it can seem so chaotic right so angry if you're so angry at your twin all these angry feelings that are coming up now because the layers are coming up. Let's see. Like all the anger, the feelings of hurt. A lot of it is past life too. So a lot of times, so like Twin Flames, when they, a lot of like, when things get really crazy and chaotic between Twin Flames, usually the main things, I mean, there's it's multiple reasons why, but usually it has to do with like past lifetimes. And there's still a lot of past life hurt and pain and trauma that needs to be healed. 
and then also a lot of times it has to do with like the dark energies too because they love to mess with twin flames so you want to always clear that and then also a lot of times it has to do with um also present life trauma like if you still have unhealed trauma with like with your parents unhealed trauma with your mom or your dad or with like old relationships that's all going to play out with your twin because the twin flame twin flame journey and relationship is all about cleansing let's <laughs> use that word you're purifying everything within you right to come into this place of unconditional love for yourself and for your twin and by doing that it's like being able to bring this powerful powerful love unconditional love to the whole planet right if you can come from love and love yourself unconditionally love your twin unconditionally it's bringing that to the whole planet and the whole planet can come back to this divine state which is the unconditional love so as twin flames we come in here <laughs> we take on a lot of stuff to help transform it back into the love right the divine love and then a lot of times we get caught up into it and we forget <laughs> we forget that's what we came here to do so um it's always good i say when you're feeling really angry at your twin or any types of negative stuff towards your twin, I think the most important thing is to clear your energies. Clear your energy. I have lots of Reiki videos for that, so you can check them out. Clear your energies. Clear your chakra. Clear your aura. Clear the uh, entities. Clear the negative thoughts and the fears. And then see how things go, because after the dark stuff clears out, then you'll be able to see things again from the higher perspective and come back to your heart and you'll see things a lot differently. And another <laughs> thing coming up is try your best not to attack your twin energetically and physically, like calling calling him and yelling at him or her or sending them angry, <laughs> angry voicemails or angry text messages. Because a lot of times you're not actually angry at them. I know it seems like you are, but actually they're triggering really deep things within you. So usually, usually after the dark stuff clears out and you can see things from the higher perspective, usually you'll realize, oh, it wasn't really because of that. It was really actually something else. And then, <clears throat> you know, there's all this damage that needs to be damage that needs to be repaired so um just try your best like if you did attack your twin apologize <laughs> and do what you can to help it help to restore the relationship it doesn't matter whether you're together or not it's it's still restoring that energetic connection because they're still i mean you're connected to them they're a part of you you're a part of them you they are you you are them so when you're attacking them you're actually attacking yourself and that's why it's extra extra painful for you and for them even though it might not seem like that on the outside maybe they're saying all sorts of horrible things to you or maybe they blocked you <clears throat> So it looks really terrible but on the inside both of you are really hurting right both of you are scared and this is why you're acting in this way because you don't know a different way so just having that compassion and trying to see things from the higher perspective and i know it's hard to do that when it's in the heat of the moment so my advice would be when you're feeling like that to really step away <laughs> step away from the situation get some space Step away from your phone. <laughs> Don't send anything when you're angry. That would be the biggest thing. It's like when you contact your twin anytime, make sure you're always coming from love. It, it will save you a lot of drama and heartbreak and heartache. And of course, it's, it's still important, right? You stand up for yourself, respect yourself. I'm not saying like be... Like, let them do whatever they want to you or let them yell at you and do whatever. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying to try your best on your side to come from love and respect. And if they're being disrespectful to you, then, of course, you can 
you can say something or say, okay, let's not speak right now when we're both angry, but you can stand up, right? Stand up in a way that's not coming from fear, but coming from love, if that makes sense. And right now I'm just clearing all the energies between the two of you. So like misunderstandings or conflicts from this lifetime and other lifetimes and just bringing back more forgiveness and love. And anytime maybe you did act out of anger or fear and now you're feeling really horrible about it. So we're clearing that too. The parts of you that feel really guilty. So let's clear that too. Don't want to keep beating yourself up for things that happened in the past. Allowing yourself to learn and now you know better and now you can do something about it, right? Because it's all within you. You can change your situation. You can change it through love and remembering how powerful you are as a twin flame when you change your energy and you change your vibration and you switch your mindset back to love they're gonna switch too <laughs> it might not happen like super in five seconds or it might not happen right away it could it's totally possible but it depends on what what the situation is but when you start it you start to make those switches and you're consistent about it, right? You're really consistent. You're going to see some really big changes and shifts within yourself, within your life. Not with just with your twin, but all areas of, of your life will start to transform when you start coming more from love, loving yourself more and <clears throat> allowing that forgiveness and the compassion to come through to all areas of your life. That's what is so amazing about the whole twin flame journey. It's not just about coming together with your twin flame, although that's like, that's like amazing and great and everyone wants that, but you're getting all these other benefits too. You're transforming, you're releasing so many things in the past that's been just in there for so long, the old hurts and the trauma. All of that's being purged and healed and released if you allow it to be. You're going to feel so good and so great. You can live your life free from all of that. And just imagine how great that is. Whether you're with them or not at this moment, you can still enjoy your life and do what you came here to do right you didn't come here to suffer and you didn't come here to feel sorry for yourself and feel hopeless you came here to enjoy too and love and and find bliss not find it it's already within you so more like allow that bliss to come through and see the magic of the world and focus on those things and your twin will come back when they're ready to come back, when you're ready to come back and keep doing your work, right? Keep healing, keep clearing, do forgiveness work, anything that you need to do to clean up your end and also sending them love and healing to help them out as well and give the rest all to the divine. As long as you're taking actions in your life coming from love, that's the best, best, best thing you can do, right? Always doing your best don't have to be perfect because no one's perfect but just try your best and that's all you can that's all we can ever ask for right so i hope that this healing helped you <laughs> i know i was just talking on and on it was just coming through to me so um yeah and if you need help or support just know that there is there is help so if you want you can just Com not comment below but all my information is below in the description box so if you want to get a session let me know and i'll see you guys later bye